that even mean, Bowers Game? Hoi there, YouTube. I'm back again for another How to Play video. And today I'm going to teach you how to play Frosty the Snowman Follow the Leader card game from Funko Games for two to four players. Age is four plus, and I got everything set up, and I'll show you how to set it up as well. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set out these tiles right here. You'll have Frosty in the front, and then you'll set up one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, they will have their numbers on the back like so. Once you've done that, you're going to take the two different piles of cards, which will be Frosty with a 1 and then Frosty with a 2. You're going to shuffle them both up separately, then place the 1 on top of the 2 like so. Next, you're going to take all of these tiles right here. You're going to mix them up like so. And then you're going to make sure that you have one showing that is face up that everyone can see. Next, if you're playing a three or four player version of the game, everyone is going to get two cards in front of them like so, and they will go face up just like this. If you have to be playing a two player version, both players will start with three cards instead. Now, the youngest player will be the first player, and then after they're done, it'll move to the player on the left, and it will go clockwise the remainder of the game. But what can you do on your turn? Well, you can do one of three separate actions, so let's talk about those. The first one you can do is you can move a kid. And how you do this is you point to one of your cards. You're going to put it in the discard pile right up here. And then you're going to move that kid either one space to the left or one space to the right. So right now I could move this yellow kid right here, either right here or right there. Now, I probably wouldn't want to do this, though, as my first move, because right now he's in the perfect position. Because the goal that we're all trying to achieve is to make this look like this. So instead of playing this card, we're actually going to play the one and only special card in the game, which is Hocus Pocus. And as you can see around the outside, it has all the different colors, and it's a rabbit that's not actually appearing on the tiles. That's because this is a wild, and you can use it as any kid that you'd like. So I think we will move this red kid right here. Now, one thing I want to mention is if you're ever dealing with a kid in the front or the kid in the back, they can only go one direction. So the kid in the back can only go forward, and the kid in the front can only go backwards. So this player might decide they're going to move this red kid right here one space back because they need to be in the two spot. Now that this player has taken their action, they're going to draw back up to their hand size. And if this parade tile matched all these cards, then this would go away and we'd reveal another one. However, it's not, which means it goes to the next player on the left. For whatever reason, they decide they don't like the cards in their hand, which means they're going to take the next action you're able to take on your turn, which is to discard all of your cards and then draw a completely new hand up to your hand size, which in this case would be two cards. Their turn would be over and move over to this player right here. Now, to help showcase you the different actions, we're actually going to cheat real quick to show you how the final action that you can take works. So it's back to this player. They're going to play this blue card right here. They're going to move it forward one space like so. Draw back up to their hand size. And now we get to this player who's going to do the third and final action, which is called a swap. And how this works is you're actually going to work with one of your teammates to swap the positions of two of the two kids. So how this works is you talk to your fellow players and say, hey, I would like to swap one of your kids for one of my kids. So for this example, I'd say I'd like to swap pink with your purple. If they agree, then you both spend your cards, and then these two change positions. Now, why did this player choose to do this? Because as you can see, we have pink, red, yellow, blue, purple, green. We have completed this, which now means this goes off to the side. If this is the third one of these tiles we've completed, then we would have won the easy version of the game. If we've completed four, then we've won the medium version of the game, and if we've completed all five, then we have won the hard version of the game. But since this is only the first tile we've completed, the game would continue on. Now back to the swap action, since both players spent a card, both players are now going to draw back up to their hand size like so. And then the game will continue until you've either reached your goal on these tile cards or until the last card runs out of this deck and no one can play any of the cards from their area. And just to clarify, I would know the game is over now because we didn't reach the number of tiles we were trying to go to. All these cards are gone and all the player cards are gone. But that's how you're going to play Frosty the Snowman Follow the Leader card game. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy learning new games, consider subscribing down below. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.